Yanni, what do you feel like the issue is between you, Troy, and Brooklyn? Brooklyn. That was her. She's very aggressive. She's aggressive? Where are you doing? I'm aggressive when you call my man daddy. We're both thinking this. We're both thinking this. Yes, you do. So you will go to her, go to her and say something I, I say. And then say it and then come to me and do the same thing. That's and then I say it. On your screen, bringing all the Christmas joy. Yeah, you know me, it's that team. Look, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to vlog on vlogmas. Diamonds on flawless. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to vlog on vlogmas. Diamonds on flawless. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Steph T, and I am back with another video. Today is Vlogmas Day 4 for me. I know it is, what, the 9th? Anyways, you guys, today, do you know what we're going to be doing? What are we doing, babe? Let me sit on my lap, too. I'm going to do something else. Y'all, today we are going to be talking to y Yanni, Brooklyn, and Troy and getting to the root of... There's baby mama, baby daddy, and girlfriend. And I was the girlfriend of a baby daddy before. So, and he has had girlfriends and baby mamas. So, he's going to be able to give. So, he's going to be able to give a little bit of insight. And see, oh, no. See what the root of their me. problem is. Let's make, not, not make this look, look at him rubbing his eyes. Let's, you know niggas that lie. Let's give this, let's you know? this a perspective of, let's give this a perspective of two adults. Y'all know niggas that lie rub their eyes, right? Who have experienced. She gonna have to bleep herself. She can't, she can say plenty of things. I don't think she can say that. That's a slur. Come on, man. All right, but you guys, before we get into this video, what are we gonna do? We're gonna like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications because you know. As long as your head. Dang. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications because you know there's gonna be more. And let's get into it. Johnny, Emily, Troy, and Brooklyn. My other counselor over here decided he was gonna be eating chips and dill while we're doing this because he's unprofessional. And my baby, you know, this isn't quite the professional therapist that he's been considering. Look, this guest just can't even get a babysitter. You know what? That's your baby too. Anyway, it looks like they they the ones that. <laughs> you know what? No, 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 no. Huh? Wait, they're playing. Ooh, no, they already got one. I know. So my baby. Hey, 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 you can't be coming into this damn session. Y'all have a kid soon too. So yeah, yeah. Give good That's advice, gone. and you give good advice. The other one's not even here yet. Don't have Whose baby is just running in and out of the session? That's yours. Excuse me, we're in a therapy session and y'all, you do yeah. it too. What? Okay, so these two. Anyway, so Yanni, what do you feel like the problem? What? Okay, well. Yanni, what do you feel like the issue is between you, Troy, and Brooklyn? Brooklyn. What was, what was the, the issue? <laughs> The question was, what does Yanni feel like the issue is between all of you guys? And she said it was you. Why do you feel like it's Brooklyn? No, it's her. She's very aggressive. She's aggressive? What does she do to you? I'm aggressive when you call my man daddy. Oh, wow. Like, what? But she was my man first. Okay, and when he was your man, you can call him that. Now he's not, so stop. We ain't ready. ain't no bigger. We don't give each person a chance to talk. So we're not. No, it's working. She asked her a question. I think I need to stretch off. You didn't even say anything yet. It's a 
Like, we didn't even get to you yet. We didn't get to you yet. Dang. Okay, so what do you think would help you guys work to co-parent? Because Brooklyn's clearly in the picture as, like, I guess the stepmom. So, let me give y'all my input. You should let it go. That man is moving on. That is toxic to just keep saying, daddy is. That was my man first. Was that like, was a joke, That was your though. man first, but he... That was a joke. I didn't call him daddy, like, for real. Yeah, daddy. Daddy. You say baby daddy? No. <laughs> you say baby daddy? I said big daddy lost me. Oh, if you want to be sweet, you should just be like, hey, baby daddy. You can't just be... You're going to take a gap. You're going to take a gap. Don't just play early, dude. Is that bad advice? Don't do advice. I'm going to call him baby daddy instead. My thing is, what do you feel like will make you and Brooklyn's relationship better? And then I'll ask Brooklyn. They need to hug it out. No. No. Uh-uh. I don't know. That's a great question, Stephanie. Brooklyn, what do you think will make you and Yanni's relationship better? I feel like we just need to respect each other's boundaries. Um, no, 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 no. And you all, you all set the label your boundaries out. You gotta let them know where everything stands on you. And you okay. know, vice versa. No, no. My boundaries are <coughs> just don't disrespect me. Don't think because you're his baby mama, you can just do whatever you want to do because that's not the case. Well, so then, great. My boundaries are no putting your hands on me. You have to respect that he is my baby daddy, and you need to respect um, not having an attitude every time you see me. So I feel like that's really your table to me, and then that's when I flash back on you. And then you flash back you on me. You can't tell nobody not to have an attitude when, like, I'm going to have an attitude when I want to have an attitude. And you're going to have an attitude when you want to have an attitude. Because you never know. An you never know what somebody's going through. Maybe my attitude's not even with you when you jump to conclusions and start with I think if you guys communicate with each other more openly, that maybe it will be a fluid conversation. I feel like also baby daddy Troy needs to step in and dictate, you know, like, and really help these two women understand each other and not pit them against each other. Excuse me, sir. You're interrupting the um the therapy session. Oh, you're not your <laughs> Look, I just realized why he says mum 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 mum. So Troy, what do you think you can do better to help them to stop fighting? I mean, she did just put your baby mama in a suitcase. And so Troy, what do you think that you can do better to help these ladies to get to a common ground? Cause we need to get to a common ground, and you, we're getting to you in just a second. You know you're not, you're not excluded. But from I mean, you be a bitch to me, you be nice. To me. I'm not being a bitch to you, but you, she already in division. So Troy, what do you think that you can do better as the person in between these two ladies to help them come to a common ground? What you got, buddy? I think it did like nope. No, I think. What do you do? I think you should stop instigating stuff Ooh. and start things between us. Oh, oh wait, give me one second. Give me one second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on before you say something. Give me a second. You should let him think for himself. He can think for himself. I'm, 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 I'
<laughs> well, I think that maybe if I'm you're gonna win. empower them, that in that essence, that you don't diminish the other one. So you lift them both <gasps> up, cause. When you empower one of them, sometimes it might seem that you're <coughs> diminishing the other one and making them feel less than. And they like you saying you're way more than she is. But so still, still, there's still certain like, aspects like, that being a girlfriend or being a baby mama that you. It's just. I don't know. Well, I mean, basically, you make them. And vice versa. You can be loving towards your girlfriend without being disrespectful to your baby mom. Do you understand what that right? But also, how does being loving to your girlfriend even have anything to do with your baby mom? It does because they're you always in close girl. contact. It doesn't with matter. Each other. I can love my girl however I want. This is my girl. You ain't no, but I'm not saying. I say loving on you. You know what? You're supposed to be on my side. You're supposed to be the therapist. We're not supposed to be dying. We're not doing the therapist. Not like the therapist arguing. You're the one giving advice. I said. Maybe we um, need to therapize y'all. So what's going on? Now? <laughs> yeah, so how was y'all? How was y'all? Like, you got baby mamas and then Seth is your girl. So how would you how would you do this? Yeah. You gonna say that for well, part two right now. This is those y'all. <laughs> <laughs> answer that question. I can answer that question. Oh, you, you don't answer no questions. You well, no, I was gonna. This is because this is a good question so that they can understand for them to keep them separate and not put them in the situation. Look at this situation. They be living together. We would never be in this situation. Exactly. So you can't give advice on this life. And that's why I'm saying it. Me and me here. If y'all can't give advice, then how are y'all? You're giving assurance, you're giving peace of mind, you're giving thought. Interesting. I feel like somebody What do you feel like, Troy? I feel like we're all fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Oh, do you guys I mean you just got you just got stuffed in a suitcase and then I saw you slap her on a TikTok. So, yeah, see what happened was we were supposed to be doing a trend and then she got carried away with it and actually slapped me. So, well, you know what? You, got, you put me in a suitcase, so I think anything okay, I do after that, I could have died in the suitcase. Okay, in the middle of the street. I think that the slap was nothing in comparison to Well, that. let me tell y'all this. I think that bottom line is, guys, the overall thing is everybody needs to respect each other. Like you said, respect each other's boundaries and also communicate with each other. Since you guys are such in close proximity, which is very unusual for a baby mama that is pregnant and a girlfriend that is the stepmom for the pregnant. It, I think it's pretty normal. You know? Do you? They just yeah. So. Now let's get on you. You know what? So why do I you? Need to, where's my stress ball? Like? No, we don't need you to have a stress ball. Hey, you. You're gonna pay for that mirror, sir. <laughs> said, so for you, ma'am, why do you keep fighting with your friend? Why are you crazy? Well, because you keep calling twelve on me. I called twelve on you one time after she you slapped me. After you why did you slap your, you your friend while she's unconscious. pregnant? And then, they were oh, relationship okay. more toxic than their relationship. Look, see, why did you do that? Y'all good. Compared what is the him. problem? <laughs> we ain't never called no police. She called Before the police was calling. Okay. Well, call. Stop thinking about the police. Then, she got mad because her boyfriend wanted me. And he was not my boyfriend. Yes, I did not want that man. Yeah, I was using pregnant. him for you a place to stay. I was using him for a place to stay for a little bit or whatever. We ain't do nothing. So all that, no, we did she, not do anything. Anything. He said that 
He said that. Um, he said a lot. He said the kids and all that. We did nothing. Not talk, right? So why are you? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because you be fighting with me. Because you all these I'm like, why are you on pillow and say that? Two more signs. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come out. Num 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 num. Oh look! Oh look! Grandma got it. Grandma got it. No, grandma got it. No. Well, this is what my advice to you is. Stop no, beating you on your friend that is smaller than I try to get away from her, and you. she keeps trying to and bite me. pregnant. I don't hit ass on your face. So do you promise not to abuse your friend anymore? That ain't going to stop her. That ain't going to stop her. Do you promise? She tell her every time she smacks her. I promise I ain't going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I well, you need a stress ball for real, then. Wait, hold Instead on. Instead of stressing balling on her. Hold on. I need more therapy classes. How about this? Okay. <laughs> we'll do a part two to your I'm therapy session so what, what tomorrow. You gonna, what are you going to do in the meantime to keep her from having these? Oh, we should do a therapy classes. session in the hot tub. Oh, wow. Hot oh, tub wow. therapy. That hot tub that, therapy. That sounds like a series. All right. So well, good. part two. <laughs> <out. laughs> Part two, we'll do this tomorrow. Yeah, In the meantime, do you guys think that you guys can all hug it out so we can end this video? Um, I don't hug. I don't. Hey, wait, but wait. <laughs> oh my God, she sounds like the girl from Win the uh, Adams Family. Wednesday. <laughs> okay, well, can you guys handshake it out? Huh? Can y'all handshake it out, everybody? Okay, Brooklyn said she'll handshake it out with you, Yanni. <laughs> So can you oh, yeah. check it out? No, we're going to skip over the fact. Oh, my God, why am I being brought over here? Uh, <laughs> come on, babe. <laughs> you do that, but give me a hug. I don't like you anyways. Oh, that was cute. cute. And then she had the nerve to be mean. Even though y'all were like a high school couple, I'm not going to lie. They do look at like they just got up. Like they just got up. For this video, you guys, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you guys are gonna be more. And we're out of here.